if, if you have a husband who never pays attention to you, and the only time he pays attention to you is when he wants to have sex, this is not a good thing. You need to start standing your ground a little bit and getting this man involved in your life. I talk about this uh, when I talk to women about the whole idea of, of give and take, about the idea of you know, uh, conditional relationships versus unconditional relationships. How a lot of Christian women believe that unconditional love means you should have an unconditional relationship that no matter what, no matter what he does, no matter how he acts, I should just put out for him no matter what. That's pure nonsense. Um, God loves us unconditionally, but he demands a conditional relationship. I mean, you want God to answer a prayer? You have to ask him. Well, that's conditional. You know, and here's the kicker. Jesus says God knows what you need before you ask him. Well, now, wait a minute. If God knows what I need before I ask him, and he wants to make sure I have everything that I need before I ask him, then why do I have to ask him? Because that's the condition. There are conditions involved. You want God to forgive you, you have to apologize. You want God to draw close to you, the Bible says you have to draw close to him. There's all kinds of conditions in relationships. An unconditional relationship where you require nothing out of anyone is a formula for disaster. If you're having sex with a guy or a woman who never does anything for you at all, you need to reevaluate yourself. That is not a healthy relationship. Now, the Bible says we should not deny each other, but as I said in my seminar, just because you have conditions doesn't mean you're denying anybody. You know, um, you, you need to start getting that person involved in your life.